friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 8th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanic activity, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at amazing imagery of our sun for the past 48 hours. Only one M-class solar flare, minor M-class solar flare to report. We have eight sunspot regions. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting into view. We do have lots of plasma filaments dancing around the northern and southern hemisphere right now. And as well, now cresting along the equator of the sun. Outgoing imagery here, a couple small blasts creating CMEs. We had multiple C-class solar flares and one minor M-class solar flare. I do believe that was in the outgoing position, but we were put instantly into an R1 radio blackout. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Most recent filament er eruption on the northwest region. Looking at coronal holes as well, one turning away, one turning in, in the Northern Hemisphere, and as well, notable in the South. 171 angstroms here, just some beautiful imagery of our sun, but definitely with these seven sunspot regions, we're gonna be keeping an eye on both the, the ones in the North and towards the equator, as they're growing in complexity and quite possibly could produce something stronger than what we just saw, which was a minor M-class solar flare. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts. Solar winds are coming in at 476 kilometers per second. They did just top over 500, so very fast solar winds right now. There is our solar x-ray flux showing all of the flare activity the last 24 hours. It was pretty quiet before that. Hence, no updates. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP3. And that was from one of the most recent CMEs, which I displayed two or three nights ago. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center, showing their space weather prediction. As we did have a couple CMEs taking off towards Earth. Little green circle there on the right-hand side, that is Earth. And having a look here at the CMEs set to give us a glancing blow and that is today and into tonight and then we should be clear after that if there are no new cmes and then here's most recent cme taking off in an outgoing fashion towards venus little yellow circle on this map is earth so instability expected and now we're under an R1 radio blackout from the M-class solar flare. Having a look here at the last seven days of imagery. Space weather leaving our sun. We've got Mercury on the left-hand side scooting out of view. And on the right-hand side, that is Saturn, as they did have an alignment. And a little retrograde on the back side of the sun just over a week ago. And here is our most recent CME taking off in the northeast region and as well in the northern hemisphere taking off from the pole there. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we had a pretty sizable earthquake reported today in the Philippines. 6.0 magnitude, 125 kilometer depth. Pretty quiet through the region though. Rare and notable earthquake here in Bulabura, Australia, just west of Sydney, Australia. 3.5 magnitude being reported there. And then a couple pretty deep earthquakes here south of Fiji Islands. 598 kilometer depth, 5.3. That was just recently. And then this morning we had a 487 kilometer depth. So heads up, Pacific Plate, very deep earthquakes. Got to watch for larger shallower to follow. 4.4 there, Port Blair, India, as well as 4.1 here, Afghanistan, but pretty deep, 261 kilometer depth, 4.7 in Turkey. Japan with a 4.3 and Kuril Islands, 4.8. A lot of volcanic activity through that region. 
then we get to the North American plate. No major swarms to talk about. Notable earthquake there, 2.9 Oklahoma, 3.3 just recently in La Jolla, California. And that is the largest magnitude across the North American soil. 4.3 here in Guatemala, 28 kilometer depth, Caribbean plate, regular activity. South American plate, small increase there from Chile northward to Peru with a 4.8. Right now, USGS is reporting 253 earthquakes in the 24-hour period, and a lot of si uh, minor seismicity is growing throughout Alaska. Having a glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world, as we're just starting to see an increase now over the past 24 hours in earthquakes. For the past couple days, we were pretty quiet. Notable activity there, Indian plate up into Mongolia, Tibetan plateau, and as well, all the deep activity that we've seen in Fiji and southward. Southern Hemisphere, Australia Plate. 6.7 earthquake there, Macquarie Island, and as well as 6.2 this week. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast. A big plume in the equator, big plume over eastern Canada, and as well a big plume heading into the west coast. So there must have been quite an eruption uh, towards the Galapagos Islands. I know the Wolf Volcano erupted there last year. It may have erupted again. But look at all this sulfur dioxide in our atmosphere right now. This is a very heavy polluted northern hemisphere right now. I've been showing these graphs for the last year or so, and things have really changed. Especially as of late when we've seen all the eruptions through eastern Russia. Look at all that SO2 pluming out of the region where we just reported the 3.5 earthquake. Southeast Australia towards Sydney. Big plume coming out of China. Then overlooking the Atlantic. South America towards Peru. Heavy particulates coming out of the region there. There's two active volcanoes, Sabancaya and as well Abinas. Having a look at the Southern Hemisphere. And then here, big plume from these islands here about three or four nights ago, continuing. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by windy.com. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Low pressure system heading across Ontario right now will bring severe weather all up the eastern seaboard of the United States. And then a big wintry mess, long range, Monday into Tuesday for the Atlantic provinces. Winter storm on your doorstep. And then by Thursday, the 14th into the 15th, big system here developing central U.S. Getting ready to mix it up with an Alberta clipper. And then Gulf low as well. Watch for extreme weather to break out through the Gulf states in the long range forecast. Overlooking Africa and Europe. You've got a big low right now that is going to be bringing a couple days of rain as it grinds into northern Spain and into France. And then multiple lows in the long range forecast here, 13th into the 14th. Watching these systems move in, high pressure moves in over the Mediterranean. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Got quite a big system jammed in between Madagascar and parts of South Africa. And as well, extreme weather will be breaking out across Western Australia. Long range forecast showing a possible cyclone making landfall Northwestern region. Stay tuned for the forecast track of that system as things could change. Then overlooking North Pacific Multiple lows affecting you right now and will be grinding up in through the Aleutian Islands in Alaska and BC. Heavy amounts of rain and snow mixed all across the Rockies. And all of these systems are scooting right up into Alaska for the long range forecast. And they've seen record amounts of snow already this season. They're not talking about that though. Stay aware, prepared. 
Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.